Uh, one thing I found interesting this week, since you guys are playing Princeton, was I was going to ask you about the Princeton game last time here. I was at that game. Uh, when you hit the boards that hard in the first period, did you have any idea you'd be able to come back in that game and do anything at all, let alone score like the last two goals? <laughs> um, I actually thought I wasn't going to come back. Um, mm -hmm. I had to be helped off the ice. I couldn't really move my yeah. legs. Um, but then I went in the training room and I was like, no, like I got to get back out there, push through it. And yeah. um, I did that and came back and got yeah. a, the game winner and the empty netter. And, Mm -hmm. um, I thank my line mates for that and the rest of my teammates for pushing me through that. What did you feel kind of more normal in that game? I know you obviously weren't fully 100%, but obviously I saw you come out the second period and you looked a little awkward skating, like you were kind of limping skating sort of, you know. Yeah. Was there any stage of that game where you felt like you were back to close to normal? Or? Um, the third period I felt a lot better, but um, yeah. it was still like that pain um, in my back. But yeah. um, again, like Maris and Banny, they were just like push through it, like you can do it. And I was yeah. like, all right. Um, so I just pushed through it. and. Uh, yeah got through that second and third period and right. um, yeah. And coach had talked about how you're kind of a gritty player, persevere. Like, is, that, is that a good example of like what you're like as a player that you could have that kind of a hit and still like want to get back in the game and not just spend the rest of the day you know sitting in the stands watching? Or... Um, yeah for sure like yeah. there was a lot of moments uh, <laughs> during that game where uh, thoughts were going through my head where I was like I can't do this but um, mm -hmm. I was just like just push persevere and uh, right. I got through it. I'll ask you too about just the team in general. Obviously, you get the big weekend coming up this week. What have you liked about, you know, how this team has progressed over the course of the season this year? Obviously, it looked like at the start of the year you guys are kind of learning your way with some people gone from last year. But once you got rolling, you playing like Clarkson usually does at the end of the year. Yeah, we did lose a lot of uh, good players, um, but we yeah. also got a, a good incoming freshman class. Um, I think that uh, after we got like all the systems down, mm -hmm. um, all that, we like really uh, clicked as a team, and uh, I think that's. Um, what Clarkson hockey is about being gritty and always pushing and yeah. um, coming out on top. On the offensive side too, how does it help to have so much depth on this team? Like there's not just two or three people you can rely on for big goals. I mean, is that one of the perks of you know your team? You think that you guys have so many people that can score? Yeah. So like currently, all three four lines are scoring, which mm -hmm. is great. Um, it's not just like one line or two yeah. lines. Uh, and I think with that depth, we can go a lot further because not many teams do have that. Yeah. And uh, I think that's really helped us uh, excel and um, get further in the yeah. playoffs and ECAC tournament and NCAA yeah. tournament as well. As far, as far as this year too, what do you kind of see your role being on this team? Like what do you, if you're kind of describing somebody, what do you think your place is here? What do you think you're, you know? <laughs> um, well, I mean, last year uh, as a freshman, I had a lot of uh, like my two linemen, Shan and mm -hmm. Banny, who uh, passed the buck to me a lot and I put it in the net now. This year I feel like um, I'm more of like a playmaker but mm -hmm. also a goal scorer. Mm -hmm. um, it, I don't know, it just depends on everything right. and how the game goes. I meant to ask you too, one of the more unique goal celebrations that you picked that <laughs> up. <laughs> Yeah. Is there anybody you model that after? Or, uh... No, I just get really excited when oh, I yeah. score. <laughs> yeah. As you said, have you done that for a long time now, or is that something relatively new? Or... Um, no. I mean, when I played in the provincial women's hockey league, yeah. I swept the ice a couple times on good goals. But oh, yeah. um, this year and last year, it's kind of I don't know, just bigger celebrations. Oh, yeah. Get the team going and yeah. hyped up and excited. Obviously, school wise, you're only about halfway through college. I was going to ask you, like, what a second. Major, what do you yeah. kind of want to do for a living when you get done playing hockey? Like, what's your um, kind of dream job to have? Or, yeah. So, I'm a communications major with a uh, minor in business and psychology. Mm -hmm. um, I don't exactly know what I want to do after uh -huh. college, but um, I kind of want to go into the uh, movie editing industry, mm -hmm. um, maybe even uh, commercial editing, show editing, anything uh -huh. that has to do with computers. Um, really good with that kind of stuff. So, uh -huh. I've made a couple videos for the team and mm -hmm. um, I hope that I can uh, get a job like that after okay. college. Yeah, I was asked about that one last year too with Megan. What was that like getting a chance to do that? It was actually a really good experience. She yeah. talked a lot about the Olympics, um, what she did when she was growing up, mm -hmm. how uh, how she did things like um, how many times she worked out, how many times right. she was on the ice, what kind of skills she did, and that kind of just like led up to how good of a player she is today. Okay. I guess the last thing I was asked about obviously was uh, you know, to see like the young fans that come to the games. I was curious, I know the one little girl here kind of picked you out as a favorite. What's that like when you're a player on a team and out of all 20 some people, some kid decides to make you kind of their favorite player? Um, it's pretty. It's a pretty amazing feeling, um, mm -hmm. knowing that I'm her idol. Um, I yeah. see her every game, give her mm -hmm. a high five, see her after the game. She always comes and gives me a huge hug. Um, oh, yeah. I really love that. I never had a fan last year. Um, oh, yeah. Some of the players on the team did and uh, yeah. having that this year, uh, 
just really, I guess, pushes me more to uh, yeah. on the ice, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it, I was curious, when you were that age, was there anybody that, that kind of had a similar experience with you when you were a little kid? Like, there's any player you kind of looked up to or you got to meet that, you know, you were Lilo, you know? Um, I've been like to a lot of like OHL games and mm -hmm. NHL games, but um, I didn't really have that like one player. There was just like a bunch of them that oh, yeah. I really aspired to be. Um, yeah. I don't know. I kind of look up to Natalie Spooner. Um, mm -hmm. She's a really good player, a gritty player, and uh, obviously she's on the Olympic team, and that's my goal in the future. Um, okay. So. I was curious too, like with the, with the young fans too, like obviously when you guys had the tough game against Cornell earlier this year, what's it like after a game when you're maybe a little down because you didn't win and right away you got some little kid that wants to give you a big hug? How does that kind of lift you up? You know? Yeah, um, she actually said to her mom after the game that uh, she wanted to give me a hug because she thought that I was upset after that game. So <laughs> oh, yeah. um, it's pretty uh, exciting to get that hug from her and uh, yeah. just let her let me know that I played a good game and uh, yeah. then we'll get them the next game we play them. All right, well, thanks.